Hi guys, welcome back to the SQL series by Data Monk. Today we are going to talk about the difference between the where clause and the having clause in SQL. They may look like that they perform similar functions, but actually that's not true. In fact, they complement each other. So uh, let's get started. Um, Firstly, uh, I have created a table called the sales table. We'll be understanding this through an example. So we have a table called sales with the attributes order ID, product, unit price and quantity. Okay, and I have inserted an, a few test data values into the table. I have populated them few, with few values. So uh, let's first just see how our table looks. I'll select all the rows using the asterisk sign from sales okay i'll run this for you and if you see this is our table which has order id the name of the products the unit price and the quantity of each product right so let's get started with the where clause uh, i'll start with a simple definition where clause is something what what filter the records from a given table given a condition but this filter occurs without any grouping so it basically filters out the values individually from the rows whereas the having clause it filter values after the grouping has been done so let us understand this by taking an example for the where clause consider that uh, I just want to find, I just want to count the order IDs whose price is greater than 15,000. How will I do that? It's pretty simple. I just want to find the order IDs whose price is greater than 15,000. I just need to count those order IDs actually. So I'll select select. I will use the count function because we are counting the order we are counting the order id from the sales table where the unit price where the unit price is greater than 15000 so i'll just break this down we are counting order ids from the sales table where the unit price is greater than 15000 simple i'll just run this mm. okay just a second why is it coming i'll just remove this okay so we got the count three there are basically three order ids whose unit price is greater than fifteen thousand you can clearly see that from the table which is twenty thousand thirty five thousand and twenty nine thousand right so this is how we used our where clause now uh, i'll show you the difference between using a having clause with another example so consider that uh, just consider that I want to find total price of items okay total price of items whose sum is greater the sum is greater than 50,000 that's what I want to find so I want to find the total price whose sum is greater than 50,000 how we'll do that we'll write select I want to see the order IDs of those particular condition so I'll select select order ID we'll use the aggregate function sum now how will you find the total price pretty simple unit price into the quantity and for uh, avoiding any confusion we'll use the alias and write it as total price so we use this as keyword just basically to you know assign a temporary name to the column so we'll use this total price from our sales table now here we'll group this by ids okay group by order id having 
what do you want to find having the sum having the sum greater than 50,000 right I'll just break this down for you we are selecting order IDs whose sum which we have calculated as total price unit price into quantity from our sales table we want to group this by order IDs having sum greater than 50,000 always remember that we use having clause with aggregate functions we can't use while clause with aggregate functions like some average okay so I'll just run this for you we need to find the order IDs which have some greater than 50,000 so you can see we have got all the order IDs whose total price is giving us the sum greater than 50,000 right Moving ahead, I also want to show you an example wherein you can use both their clause and having clause together in a select query. How we'll do that? Consider this particular query only. We have selected order ID and we have calculated the sum from our sales table and we have found which is order ID which is greater than 50,000. I just want to add a clause here where these order ID this order ID is greater than 50,000 again okay so uh, I uh, with along with finding the sum greater than 50,000 I just want to see the order IDs also who which have uh, order IDs greater than 50,000 always remember you can't write this where clause after the group by function you'll always write it before so I'll run this for you and you will see we just got one order ID here last time we were able to see a lot of order IDs whose sum were greater than 50,000 but here we have added a condition that the order ID should also be greater than 50,000 so that is only one order ID which is 56241 which is a washing machine that we are getting so I hope the differences between both the having clause and the uh, where clause is very much clear. Uh, just to summarize, where clause filter records without any grouping and it filters individual records, right? And the having clause, it filters values after the grouping has been done and it uses aggregate functions. You cannot use where clause with aggregate functions. Always remember that. So I hope this is clear. This is it for the session. See you in the upcoming sessions. Have a good day.